Welcome back everybody. This is the X-Torch. It's a multifunction flashlight that was featured on Shark Tank, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. Let's first take a look back at how the unboxing went and then when it gets dark here, we're gonna test this thing out. I paid $55.95 for this. So we got some very basic instructions. There's a charging cable. So here it is. It's much larger than I thought it was gonna be. Now they say it can be charged via USB or solar. Also works in as an emergency backup phone charger. Big solar panel back here. They say it glows in the dark and floats. A bright 400 lumen output. Takes a one and a half hours to charge via USB or 22 hours to charge in the sun. A full charge provides 48 hours of light. Looks like we've got a clip here as well. Charging port there. To use the flashlight, you press the power button once for the flashlight, a second time for the lantern, and a third time for the desk lantern. The battery is a lithium iron phosphate, which does retain a charge better, and it supports more charging cycles than a lot of other batteries out there. All right, here is the X-Torch uh, in flashlight mode. You can see how bright it is. Now this is high, and then there is low. Not, not a huge difference, high to low. Now let's compare it against a tack light. Tack light on the right, the X-Torch on the left. The X-Torch is a much yellower looking light, the tack light much bluer or whiter. The tack light can also be focused or widened while the X-Torch can't. I mean, it's a, it's a decent flashlight. It's, it's not amazing, but it, it's decent. All right, let's try the uh, lantern mode and see how that works. It's gonna hang it right up here. I would say it's certainly functional. It does light up the entire area. Maybe not as bright as the light bulb I usually have here, but definitely good enough if you're a power, have a power outage or a campsite. It should work pretty well for that. Bailey's out there chasing a bug. I think that she likes the light because it gives her a chance to catch that roach she's been chasing for the last couple of days. Now they say that it glows in the dark. Does it glow in the dark? It looks brighter on camera than it does to my eye. It's, this camera's uh, adjusting for the darkness out here. It does glow, but that's not very bright. If the cost of the flashlight seems expensive, maybe the fact that 25% of profits goes to charity might offset that pain a little bit. Maybe. On the show, they start off with a demonstration of it being frozen in an ice block and he hits it with a baseball bat. It's very impressive, but after thinking about it, that's not a very impressive demonstration to me. First of all, the X-Torch is not submersible in water, so they didn't freeze it in a block of ice. What they did, if you look closely, they clearly put it on a bed of ice and then put an ice lid on top of it. I have a screenshot here. You can see the bottom is different than the top. They just put an ice lid on top. He hit one side of the ice, but the X-Torch was on the other side of the ice. I don't think he even hit it with a baseball bat. So to me, I don't know if it's as durable as they want you to believe because this is just ABS plastic, which is certainly fine, but it's not nearly as strong as some of the higher end flashlights out there. Take a look at these two. This is the Ryder RX. This is a stainless steel flashlight. They even have a titanium version. This is a Thrunite T2. This is made of a military grade aluminum. These are much tougher uh, material wise. They're also brighter. This is 650 lumens. This is up to 3,700. This one is 400. Now, if you're talking about the power bank feature, all you have to do is add another cheap power bank and you have still less space and you have a bigger power bank and you have a brighter flashlight. If you're just worried about the emergency feature, shameless plug for my store, I've got a flashlight in there as well. It's this cheap version right here. It does have a solar panel, which takes a long time to charge, but you can actually charge this one with a crank. Don't need the sun at all. You can charge it at night and you have light. You can charge the X-Torch in about an hour if you plug it in the wall, but you can also use a solar panel to charge it up. They say it takes 22 hours to do a full charge, but 22 hours of sunlight is not very realistic. So what I wanted to do was discharge this completely, which I did, put it out in the sun for an entire day and see how much of a charge I actually got. We get about nine hours of sunlight here this time of year in my yard. So here's how my solar charge test went. The sun has just come out, as you can see. Place it right there with the solar panel facing the sun and I'll adjust it throughout the day. The indicator does show that it's charging. It's now 7.30 a.m. Come back at the end of the day and see how it looks. Here we go, and I should point out, I, I had it facing the sun throughout the day, so it started off here and I moved it throughout the day so the, it was facing the sun as it was setting. Let's see what we got here. And we got two bars. So they said 22 hours of fully charged, nine hours gave me two bars, so I guess that sounds right. Bailey, what do you think? She's looking for a lizard. Let me get the lizard. Where's the lizard at? She just wants a lizard. She didn't care about this. I should point out that the X-Torch did not get a deal on Shark Tank. A lot of the sharks said that it, 
the mid-range flashlight industry is kind of hard to crack into so they were saying you should go high end or low end but not really in the middle robert said that it should have been priced more around 20 to 30 dollars instead of 55 to 60. robert actually offered to buy the company outright and they declined so the x-torch did not get a deal on shark tank all right the x-torch can supposedly charge a phone i've got an iphone here it is down to nine percent needs to be charged and this is a freshly charged x-torch let's uh let's plug it in we'll see how much it can charge it up and how long it'll take it is charging hit the stopwatch one thing I wanted to point out real quick is that when you first plug it in, the indicator lights go on so you can tell it's charging, but they go off pretty quickly. So there's no indication right now that it's doing anything. If you check the phone, it is charging, but you would not know that by looking at the X-Torch. So I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye on the phone and see how it goes. So we'll come back when anything changes. All right, it has just stopped at the one hour and 47 minute mark. As you can see, it's still plugged in and it is no longer charging, but it did get all the way up to 71%. Now the interesting thing is the X-Torch does have a little bit of juice left in it, so I guess it goes down a certain point and then stops charging. Just under two hours gives us um, about almost a little over 60% of a charge on this particular phone. They say the X-Torch can float, but it's not submersible in water. These don't float, but they are submersible. Let's check it out. Through night. Ryder RX. X-Torch. X-Torch is floating still works through night is underwater still works rider rx underwater still works well they all do what they're supposed to do what do you think bailey no all right so just because i expressed some skepticism about a product doesn't mean i don't like it or it's without merit i actually like some things about the x-torch i do understand that its primary purpose is more of an emergency product than the best and brightest flashlight out there and it's not the best and brightest flashlight in fact if you want to get a really bright flashlight and a decent power bank those are probably out for their x-torch and take up less room. Ironically, I think that the desktop lantern is the feature that I use the most and it's probably the least touted feature of the entire product. In the end, I would say the X-Torch does what it's supposed to do, but I would call it a slightly overpriced jack of all trades, master of none. But if you've tried the X-Torch, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.